Minecraft. While it's a very simple game at first, you then come to realize that there's way much more ahead of you. But even in the rarest editions do they have some facts that you never knew about. Anyways, without turning this video into a meme compilation, today we're going to be looking at some interesting facts and secrets that you didn't know about Minecraft Legacy Console Edition. The facts I'm about to tell you though are really interesting, so if you haven't figured these out yet, keep watching. Because for example, you can get infinite diamonds in Minecraft using some of the facts that I'm about to tell you. Let's start with something a little simple. Right off the bat, you can see a lot of messages saying you can't do really anything at all. This is because of a check that no one really uses at all. If you uncheck trust players, you'll get all this when you join in as second player. And this is what it looks like when you try to change other players' ability as admin. No, I don't see why you would have that unchecked, you know, unless if you really hate the other players, but otherwise, this is just basically useless. Though, I can really have a fair share with some of those options. Now, this next one is criminal, and it's truly the most heartbreaking moment of my life. Different mobs have different render distances in which they render in. The pig, for example, can only be rendered up to 57 blocks away, while the creeper can go to 61, the skeleton can go to 68, the wither skeleton can go to 80 for some reason, the stray can go to 67, the spider can go to 79, the cave spider can go to 40, the zombie can go to 66, while only the baby zombie can do 33, just barely above two chunks. These are only some of the mobs, so if you can find the longest one in PlayStation 4 edition, let me know down in the comment section down below. By any chance, did you ever want to see the nether roof in Legacy Edition? No? Well, here's how to do it anyways. First, go up to the nether roof and get an ender pearl on boat. Then make a place for the boat to spawn one layer before the roof, and then hop on and hop off. From here, you'll be executed through the roof to see what is there. And there's literally nothing. You cannot get on the bedrock roof. But if you are lucky enough, you are able to get onto the bedrock roof, but afterwards, you just can't move at all. Do you even know what zombie horses are? Well, they were rideable horses only exclusive to Java Edition, but you can't ride them in Legacy Edition for some reason. You also can't ride them in Bedrock Edition, and they cannot be tamed. This essentially makes this horse right here one of the useless and most forgettable mobs in the game. Here's a little easier egg I bet none of you knew. If you crouch while using the elytra with nothing in your hand, then it'll do this little animation where your guy is pumping fists out to no one. Though frankly, it's pretty cool and for some reason isn't used in any promotional material, even in some you think like the 1.9 combat update. And here's a more visible version. However, there is one bug with the elytra that kinda breaks it, Usually when you touch water with Elytra, it just stops and you get to swim normally. And by going into Goliath minigames and doing this, you can go back to the world to do the exact same thing. Wanna know how to find treasure almost instantly? Well, you came to the right section, my mate. In Java Edition, what we call the 99 Chunk Cornet is where we easily find treasure all the time. However, in Legacy Edition, we call it the 89 Chunk Cornet because you go to the 89 Chunk Cornet to mine for treasure there. But since you can't see the Chunk Cornets, let me give you a math lesson in that case. Count your 16s until you reach the number that you want, then move 8 spaces towards the X. However, if you are at least below the X and on the perfect 16, move up only 7 spaces, while if above it, move down 9. And from there, dig straight down until you find yourself the chest. And while hard, it is possible, and you can get a lot of stuff from what is in there. Now here's something that's exclusive to Legacy. Standing on cactus really doesn't hurt you for some reason, and this could be useful when mobs are chasing you as they won't go on cactus. By the way, this is something entirely separate. If you do manage to die, you'll be greeted with a lot of mobs when you respawn and try to go back to your location. And that is just scary, but here's why. Minecraft tries to spawn mobs in different locations, but if those locations aren't rendered in yet, it spawns them in the nearest one possible, and in fact spawns all of them there, making an impossible raid just about. By using a contraption like this with falling gravel and making it slightly longer, you can make it so when you place gravel, it doesn't fall. This is mainly caused to improve performance on older gen consoles, but I don't really care. 
Besides, it doesn't work at a certain distance and really isn't useful at all unless you really want a bridge with gravel and other falling blocks. If you are a true Minecraft player, you played some music discs while you were in your survival or creative world. And one of those, as you know, is simply called Cat by C418. However, in Legacy Edition, it plays an extended version of Cat. Just take a listen. This cut part of the music disc Cat is better known as Dog everywhere else. Do you find it annoying that after you trade with the villager, he doesn't offer you anything more and you have to wait for a little while but increases the price anyways? Did I hear a yes? Okay, let's talk about it. When trading with a guy, you can trade in all of it until he's run out, but then what you must do is break his job and then place it back down to refill it, and then you are able to trade infinitely gaining an infinite amount of emeralds when you have the materials. And the best thing about this? It doesn't increase the price. You're welcome. Do you want to cheat in your Minecraft world so easily? Because swimming and precisely pausing at the right time should allow you to get yourself some x-ray. This trick can unfortunately be abused if you are really good at the game. And of course, it only works in single player mode. And unironically, you can also use this trick to find a portal room. Here's a crazy one. By moving a chest with a sticky piston back and forth, you can cause the items to duplicate, over fluctuating your inventory at times. This works with the pillager outpost, the treasure chest, the villager chest, woodland mansions, shipwrecks, igloo bunkers, desert temple chests, the underwater ruin chest, jungle temples, dungeons, the Nether Fortress, End Cities, and even the Bonus Chest. Let's break Bedrock. If you find Bedrock that is perfectly shaped like this, place two snow on the available two spaces and the pumpkin behind that, and you will figure out that you've broken Bedrock. Do you want to look funny in your survival world? Well, here's how to do it anyways. When placing the skull down, you notice there's a fraction of a second where it doesn't appear. And for that fraction of a second, pick block, and then you'll be able to put the skull that you pick blocked on your head, making your head completely gone. It looks kind of funny, to be honest. In Legacy Edition, there's this stupid spawn cap in which you can't spawn any more animals, excluding these, in which you can spawn more until they reach their limit. In creative mode only, you can enchant any item with any enchantment, no matter what it is. Hey kid, you want a protection for a fishing rod? Or hey, how about this loyalty 3 compass? Or how about an enchanted golden apple? Get it, cause the golden apple is enchanted? Obviously, when you place a bed down and sleep in it, you can get a respawn point, and when you die, you respawn on your bed. But moving it too far away won't have that same effect. Another legacy feature one, this one you can land in a cauldron of water and survive the fall, but it's literally almost impossible to do. In Legacy Edition, there is Curse of Binding 2 armor that you can find by just playing minigames, and you can't make it for some reason, even in creative mode. I guess we'll never find out the true mystery of Curse of Binding 2 at all. Now tell me here, would this crash my PlayStation? Would this break the game? Put your answers in right now. Well, guess what? If you said yes, you are very unfortunately wrong, because when we explode the TNT, you could see that it basically does nothing to the game. The game still runs fine, and as you can see, it creates a very cool cave effect that you can explore yourself and kill yourself in. But what makes this so normal that it doesn't crash at all? Well, this is because TNT doesn't all go down at once. This can be seen by running through a bunch of pressure plates activating a lot of TNT, and over half of them are gone. Here's how to get partial x-ray. 
when you place the water bucket, swim up to the roof of it, and you could have basically infinite x-ray. You get to see everything that is right above you, and it is way easier than the last one shown. And like last time, this can result to you finding the portal room very quickly. And finally, but not least, minecarts move double the speed of their counterpart Bedrock and Java versions. Or is it the last? Because Minecraft Legacy Console Edition is still updating, which means this message is a complete lie. And while many of you guys don't believe me, let me just tell you a bit of something. While Legacy Edition isn't updating 1.20, it is fixing some bugs. Because as you can see, what was not a red bar, it was a red bar until they changed it back, but who cares. And whatever was obtainable is now not obtainable. And whatever was a bug is not now. And again, while the game isn't updating to the latest version, it is fixing its past bugs. And honestly, I don't really have much else. This game doesn't have many secrets, but the secrets here are overreacting. And before we end this video, I would like you to consider subscribing down below, but don't make it your first priority. And well, that's it. See you in the no-tile run.